all things that a, we might do to treat an arrhythmia could affect some aspect of someone's life. However, our objective is to not interfere with the conduct of one's life. Our objective is to restore normal function. And normal function means that various activities, including exercise, can be performed safely and with good athletic performance and those who desire that objective. For most rhythm problems, the problem is a long-term problem which, although it may have some medical consequence over many years, does not present an immediate risk of a life-threatening consequence from exercise. And in those patients, in, in those people that I follow, we intentionally do not restrict activity. And so we may subject our patients at times to exercise testing to determine the safety of exercise. It is very rare for us to tell a patient that they cannot exercise. Persons with serious potential heart rhythm problems can successfully engage in competitive athletics. However, we have tended to avoid recommending this because of concern about risk. There is now some interesting information, um, mostly in younger patients, who have defibrillators for very serious rhythm problems, that they can safely engage in competitive athletics. Yet it is still not the recommendation on a national basis that persons should do this. However, it is done, and patients at times can do very well. And it seems to be safe in those patients with the most life-threatening rhythms, provided that they have a functioning defibrillator.